Hello everybody, Nathaniel from RC Insight here, and in today's video, I am going to be comparing the Whoop 4.0 to the brand new Whoop 5.0. Let's just get straight into it. Now, I'm gonna be breaking this video into three separate parts. The first part, we're going to be going over the hardware. The second part, we're gonna be going over the software and the app. And then the third part, we're going to be going over performance. So there'll be chapters down below to skim to the parts of the video that you want. Use them, they're your best friend. Quickly before we start into this, I just wanna say if you are interested in getting the Whoop 5.0, there is going to be a link down below in the description as well for a one month free trial. If you use that link, you will get one month free with Whoop and it will also support me as a creator. This isn't a sponsored video, I'm just a pretty big fan of the Whoop. With that said, let's start by looking at the hardware. Okay, so we'll start by comparing the physical devices themselves, the actual hardware. You can look here, I've got the Whoop 4.0 and the Whoop 5.0. They look remarkably similar. Now that I've unclasped these, you can see the 4.0 on the left, the 5.0 on the right, and you can see side by side, they are remarkably similar in size, remarkably. The 5.0 is just slightly shorter, slightly, ever so slightly, and ever so slightly narrower as well. You can see just ever so much difference. That apparently amounts to a 7% size decrease. So really not a meaningful change there in terms of size. Yet I was surprised at just how much I noticed it. The Whoop 5.0 does feel better to wear. Now, that was never something that I felt wearing the Whoop 4.0 going, oh, I really wish this was smaller. Uh, but nonetheless, it, it is more noticeable than expected. Flipping around to the back here, when you look at the sensor array, the sensor array for both of these looks remarkably similar. I do not believe there are any new sensors in the Whoop 5.0, but the actual sensor bump here, the design on the 5.0 is noticeably different than the design on the 4.0 here. And you can see the difference side by side the 5.0 is actually a lot more comfortable to wear, way less likely to leave an impression in my skin. I've had it on tightly for many hours and that's the impression. The Whoop 4.0, I was just wearing that for about 10 minutes before the video and that's the impression on my arm. So yeah, the, um, the Whoop 5.0, despite the sensor array being the same as far as I'm aware, no new sensors in the 5.0, uh, the actual sensor array itself is a better design, more comfortable to wear, and I think it complements that slightly smaller device design uh, quite well. Now, with the smaller size comes a few other changes. Here you can see the connection difference between the 4.0 and the 5.0. The 5.0 has a very different device connector. So, with the 4.0, it would slide on like so, stick nice and firm over the edge. Uh, doesn't really move, doesn't fall off. I did like the 4.0 connector, but there was one big problem here, and that was that it could be easy enough to get it the wrong way, and you could kind of force it the wrong way and end up bending and breaking the metal and it getting stuck, and so that wasn't good. Like the other design changes we've experienced here with the 5.0, the new clasp mechanism I do think is an improvement. Uh, it's a little looser. It slides on and off a little bit easier than I would like, but there's now a much clearer right and wrong way. There's gonna be no forcing this on backwards in the wrong direction. So they have improved that overall connection in my opinion, though it's a little looser. I'd like it to be a little bit stiffer, a little bit firmer. And I think they can probably fix that on the band end of things. Uh, but overall, this new clasping mechanism is slightly improved. However, the rest of the band clasp is the same. It hooks in to these little nooks, folds over, and clips on. Now the 5.0 clasp has a bit more of a mechanical feel to it than the 4.0 does, but otherwise that's identical. So it's just the actual attachment here that has changed. One other subtle change worth noting is that on the 4.0 bands, you'll notice that the Whoop name is on the band, whereas the 5.0 has been updated just to have the W logo. Just another small change between the two. 
Now, a new device also means a new power pack. And as you can see, interestingly, the 4.0 power pack is actually a little shorter and stubbier. And the 5.0 power pack is a little bit longer and, and uh, leaner, despite the fact that the Whoop 5.0 is smaller in size, the battery pack here has actually gotten bigger. Another subtle change, you can also see it's a little less bulky on the side, and it's got these transparent clip-on attachments as well. Now, much like with the bands, because the Whoop 5.0 is a different size, that means this 5.0 charger is incompatible with the 4.0. It does not physically fit on. And the 4.0 charger, while it does fit on the Whoop 5.0, it does not clip into place and actually offer any charging. It can slide on, but it's not gonna do anything. You need the 5.0 charger power pack for the 5.0 band. Now, moving on to the software, that is where Whoop kind of shines. The, the data and the sensors that they have in the wristband itself here aren't particularly revolutionary, especially at this point, but their software, how they present that data in their app is one of their strong points. And even where it's not perfect, that's something that can continually improve. Now, Whoop has made some notable changes to their software with the release of the 5.0. As you can see in front of you, there are now three tiers of subscription plans, Whoop One, Whoop Peak, and Whoop Life. Now, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time breaking these down in this video. If you want the full details on that, you can go to Whoop's website because for those of you who are wondering about the differences between the 4.0 and the 5.0 and thinking about upgrading, you are going to be existing members and existing members who have predated this tiered plan system are automatically enrolled in Whoop Peak, the middle tier. Now, opening up the Whoop app itself here, for those of you who are existing members, you will notice there are some significant changes to the app that have happened recently. The layout is a little bit different, particularly the three rings at the top. These were all changes they made around the launch of the 5.0, but this is going to look the same whether you have the 4.0 or the 5.0. This layout and these features are gonna be more or less identical. The big new addition with the 5.0 is this health span metric where you can see my whoop age and my pace of aging and all the stats that make up that whoop age as well as the current trends. So you can see I'm doing pretty well. Now this is a new feature that came along with the 5.0 and it's the one thing that if you don't have the 5.0, you won't get at least immediately. And that's because if you actually look at it, if we go back into the health span here, you can see that it's been tracking my health span since March 10th which means all the data it needs to calculate this information has already been tracked on the 4.0. So when you upgrade to the 5.0, you're going to unlock health span right away. However, according to Whoop's website, health span is also coming to the 4.0 which means you are not going to need the 5.0 to access this feature. You're simply going to get it sooner. So your entire experience with the app here between the home page and the health page is going to be identical. There are no new metrics. There is no exclusive software that you unlock. It is the same for both the 4.0 and the 5.0. The only difference is health span, which will be available on both. It's simply available right away on the 5.0 when you upgrade. The only other change that's notable here comes with the battery and charging. So here you can see my Whoop 5.0, it's at 29%. And when I slide my power pack over top of my device, it is going to pop up here with a little graphic that shows the power pack is on and it's charging. And notably, the power pack also shows its charge. So previously with the 4.0, you also didn't experience this. The 4.0 would not show the power pack charge. It would show that the device is charging, but uh, that is one, I guess, exclusive software feature you get with the 5.0 is you can see how charged your power pack is as well. Now we will move on to performance. 
So the final part of this video comes down to performance. Given the 5.0 doesn't have any new sensors and the features and the software features available in the app are going to be the same for both 4.0 and 5.0 peak members, is the Whoop 5.0 actually better? Now, I have not run qualitative, comparative, side-by-side -side testing. I don't have the means or the setup to do so. So I will leave a link down below to a video by the quantified scientist who's done a relatively in-depth comparison between the 4.0 and the 5.0, but I will summarize some of the key points from that video into my analysis on the Whoop 5.0 performance. The short answer is yes, performance is improved. There is a noticeable performance jump between the 4.0 and the 5.0 when it comes to things like accurately tracking heart rate, accurately tracking sleep, and as well as some other metrics. Whoop themselves made note during their presentation that the new Whoop 5.0 takes a total of 26 readings per second, I believe it is. So it is taking a lot of data very, very quickly. It's taking in much more data than the Whoop 4.0 was, and it's doing all of this with a much better battery life. So with the Whoop 5.0, the data does in fact seem to be considerably more accurate. Now the quantified scientists did a variety of different uh, exercises, running, biking, and wore both the 4.0 and the 5.0 and compared that to a chest strap heart rate monitor, which is kind of the gold standard. And while the Whoop 5.0 isn't perfect, it is considerably more accurate than the Whoop 4.0. Particularly, it seems to be catching less spikes and dips. There might be slight delays, but the overall graphs much more closely resembled each other when it was the 5.0 and the chest device rather than the 4.0. So the performance is in fact upgraded here. You are getting more accurate readings, more accurate data. Whoop has also mentioned that their steps calculator algorithm is more accurate on the 5.0. So steps was added a while back. It's been in beta on the Whoop for about six months. If you have a 5.0 device, it's no longer considered beta because Whoop is confident that the step counter is far more accurate. And my own experience seems to have backed that up. The step counter, which was wildly inaccurate before, does seem to be much more accurate on the new device. This also means that other metrics and readings should be more accurate. For example, HealthSpan does have data based on the readings from the 4.0, However, the overall health span number you're going to get should be more accurate with the 5.0 because the data that is feeding into their calculations is going to be more accurate. So things like your sleep score, your strain, your health span score, all of those should be better on the 5.0 than the 4.0. You're gonna get the exact same features, but they should be more accurate representations when it comes to the 5.0. I have touched on it too, performance wise, battery life massively improved. It's probably the single biggest improvement here. I got this uh, over a week ago now and it was almost fully charged when it arrived and I still have about 30% battery left. They're promising 14 days of battery life. I'm not sure I'm gonna quite get there. I'm thinking I'll be around 12 or 13. That's still very good. Power pack also holds a charge much better. When the power pack arrived two weeks ago, I think it was about 50 to 60% charged. I have not used it yet. And when I put it on for this video, it was showing it was at about 38% charge. So it's still just gonna lose some of its charge naturally, but it holds a charge much better than the old 4.0 device where you I felt like you had to charge the power pack and put it on right away. Otherwise the, the charge would die on the power pack. And in both cases, you're getting way, way longer battery life here about 14 days with the Whoop itself and another 14 days from the power pack as opposed to five and five roughly from the old Whoop 4.0. So huge upgrade there. The final thing to note is that the temperature sensor supposedly is also improved and much more accurate. It actually took five days to recalibrate and, and find my baseline again because this temperature sensor is supposedly significantly better. Now to me, 
That's probably the sensor on here that I care the least about since I can just use a thermometer to take my temperature. But for those of you who want a more accurate temperature sensor, there's that too, I guess. Uh, so that's it on the hardware change front. Like I said, check out that Quantified Scientist video if you want the in-depth breakdown on the differences between the Whoop 4.0 and the Whoop 5.0, but the performance for the 5.0 is definitely improved. With that comparison done, what are my final thoughts and conclusions here? Without question, the Whoop 5.0 is a better device. It is better in terms of form factor, feel, wearability. Uh, the app has some early features that you get uh, and overall better, better data accuracy for the metrics in the app. That data accuracy, like I said, has been improved. You're getting better measurements here. You're getting more accurate measurements. You're getting much, much, much better battery life and an improved skin temperature sensor. So the Whoop 5.0 is undoubtedly an upgrade over the 4.0, but is it a huge upgrade? You're not getting new sensors. You're only getting a marginally smaller device and the Whoop 4.0 honestly felt just fine. It didn't need to be changed. All the things that you're gonna experience in the app with the 5.0, you will also get with your 4.0. For those other locked features, you gotta go all the way up to the Whoop MG, which is a totally different device. Is it enough for someone to justify paying the upgrade fee? given the controversy around that, or renewing their subscription for another 12 months if they've just started with the 4.0? My honest answer would be no. Stick it out with the 4.0, and if you are happy with Whoop and what they offer, because I think the software is the strongest point of this device, if you get to the end of your existing plan and you are happy with the app experience, what insights Whoop is offering, from there, I would upgrade, renew my subscription, and when you renew it, you're gonna automatically upgrade to the 5.0. Personally, that's what I would do. In my case, I actually, my plan ended like three days after the Whoop 5.0 launch announcement. So I renewed and I got the device right away. Uh, and it's nice, I like it, but I don't think it's necessary. Especially if you just got the Whoop and you're undecided, don't pay the upgrade fee, don't buy an extra year up front. See how it goes, and when you get to the end of your cycle, then upgrade. There is nothing immediate or urgent that you are missing by holding off. Like I said, by and large, things are the same. You're getting some improved accuracy, some improved data, and that's really nice. I would wait until you're ready to renew your subscription, and then you'll automatically get the upgrade for free. That's my conclusion. That's my advice. That's going to do it for this video, my full in-depth breakdown of the Whoop 4.0 versus the Whoop 5.0. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. How do you feel about the 5.0 if you already have it? And if you don't, are you going to upgrade? If you like the video, leave a like. It's a great way for you to show your support. Subscribe for more Whoop content. I've got a bunch of Whoop 5.0 content coming soon. I'm gonna cover everything you need to know about the device. With all that said, I'm gonna leave this video here. So thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you all in the next one.